Hi friends, my fellow YouTubers, how are you doing today? Welcome to Info to You channel. Okay, this is you know, I'm going to talk about something that is related to everyone in this planet, or maybe to all the living organism as well. Just not sure. Just give a guess, eh? Because in this we are together. All right. Are you able to guess it? Well, I don't want to keep you waiting or guessing. Is it? It is about our health, and to be more specific, it is. It will be about our mental health. All right. Now, let's start with a question that many of us that because we have a different perception on it. All right. My first question will be: What do you understand or your thoughts about mental health? So you, you can write down your thoughts, your answers in the comments down below. Okay, the comments I can hear. Okay, just write down there so that I can get back to you. Well, here are some details that I actually picked up from one of the website, in which I will give you more understanding about it. All right, I have given it in the description below so that you can feel free to explore it, visit it, and explore it. Okay. So that you have you will have more understanding about mental health because people have a different type. Everyone will have a different perception on it and different thought of it. So please feel free to visit the website that I have given in the description below. Okay. All right. Mental health includes our emotional, psychological, and social well-being. It affects how we think, we feel, and also how we act. It also helps determine how we handle stress, which is quite common that we use the word all the time, most of the time, and how we relate to others as well. So, not not forgetting about making choices too. Mental health is important at every stage of our life, from being child. Teenage days and when we are adult also. So because all during this time, right? Uh, we do think about using our mental to think everything, right? So it is very important during all these stages. So that is what I'm trying to tell you in this video. Okay. Over the course of our life, if we experience mental health problem. Our thinking, our mood, and our behavior definitely will be affected. There are many factors contribute to mental health problems, which includes the first one. First one is it biological factors such as genes from our parents or even our brain chemistry, in which there are many neurons in it. Okay, yeah, I don't know how many neurons is that. The second one. It's our life experience, such as trauma, phobia, in which most of us will have have it, and the most common one is the high phobia, or even abuse. Doesn't matter what kind of abuse is it. If it can be physical or it can be emotional as well. And last but not least, family history of mental health problem. As I said before, because we all are in it together. Mental health problem are very common, but as always, help is available. People with mental health problem can get better, and many have recovered completely from time to time. There are many easy ways, and some of it we might never think of it as well. Okay, we actually practice it in our daily life even without knowing it. Okay, even. Some of us having mental health problem, right? It's it's a, I mean, you might think it's a very small thing, or so maybe childish thing, or maybe you don't even uh, doing it without unknowingly. But it it is something it will lead to mental health. Okay, for example, for example, eh, taking a photograph of something. It it is one of the steps that it can lead to mental health, rather than observing it with your own eyes. 
taking photograph is different, observing it with your eyes is different. So that is something that I like to tell in this video as well. Okay? Alright, now let's talk about the early morning signs of mental health. Let me ask you another question. Are you not sure if you are someone you know is living with mental health problem? There are 14 signs in general. This is a basic one. Eh? Experiencing one or more of the following feelings or behavior can be an early warning sign of a problem. Okay, number one, all right, eating or sleeping too much or too little, all right, and number two, pulling away from people and usual activities such as indoor and outdoor activities, all right, and number three, having low or no energy to perform our daily duties, number four, feeling numb or like nothing matters, number five, Having unexplained aches and pains. Number six, feeling helpless or hopeless. Number seven, smoking, drinking, or using drugs more than usual. All right. Number eight, feeling unusually confused, forgetful, or on the edge of angry, upset, worried, or even scared for no sure, for no reason. Number nine. Yelling or fighting with family and friends for no reason at all. Number 10. Experiencing severe mood swing that cause problems in relationship. Doesn't matter what kind of relationship is that. Number 11. Having persistent thoughts and memories you can't get out of your head. Number 12. Hearing voices or believing things that are not really true. Number 13. Thinking of harming Ourself or even others, some might categorize this as even committing suicide, also. It, it can be. And 14. Inability to perform our daily tasks, such as like cleaning the house, cooking, taking kids to school, or going to work, um, or small, small tasks, or maybe even watching television, or even paying up our bills, or something like that. So it's all small, small things or minor things. All right. Maybe we forget it. That is some sign of we are having a problem with our mental health. It's some of it. Okay. Okay. Now let's talk about mental health and wellness. Having positive mental health allows people to the first one realize their full potential and not only to perform their daily tasks but also to creatively think about it how we can perform it better second one is cope with our stresses of life as you know usually life will give us stresses in some matters right that that's how we need to cope with it three one work productively fourth make meaningful contribution to our communities Okay, there are seven ways to maintain positive mental health. Seven ways. And the first one, getting professional help. That is only if you really, really, really need it. Second one, connecting with others. I'm not talking about social media. Like neighbors, go and talk to them. Something like that. Third one, staying positive. Fourth one, getting physically active. Either doing some outdoor activities or even some indoor activities as well. Cooking, cleaning house, something like that. Number five, helping others to perform their daily tasks. That's number five. Number six, getting enough sleep. This is one of the most important thing. All right? Six hours, seven hours, eight hours. And developing coping skills. All right? I now hope that you will have a better understanding what is mental health all about because it differs from mental illness okay so don't forget to click on the subscribe button down here and then hit the notification bell beside it and also click on the like button here all right okay my next video of mental health will be about myth and facts of it okay why i say myth and facts of it because 
a lot of people have a different perception on mental illness as I said much earlier in this video right so I mean there's a lot of people I mean there's a lot of people that have a different understanding as some might have written down as I said in the comments down below so I will explain it more in the myth, myth and facts part so that you can get a more clarification on it all right so will you have a go uh, i mean i hope that you all won't have a mental health problem so i mean hopefully okay to be to be really honest okay because mental health is everybody's problem okay everybody we are together in it I'm not saying that I'm not having a mental health problem. Everybody is having a mental health problem. Uh, it's once in their lifetime. I'm not talking about once, most of the time actually. Okay, because this is all small, small things that we might think that this is nothing. Okay, so but we need to consider this one as very, very important to our next step of life, future, whatever you name it as. So, I'll see you in the next video. So, uh, for that, I hope you all have a great day. Okay, and then, hope to see you soon. Thank you very much for watching my video. Alright, and then, see you soon. Bye, see you then.